Okay, now that we have a sense of what we need to accomplish, let's go ahead and jump to our Drupal site that we just installed and see what we have to work with. I'm going to jump to the browser, and here I'm on the home page. This is the default page that you land on after you go through the installation process. You might have already noticed that we've been logged in as that first user that we created as the administrative account. You see here in the upper right hand corner, we have a link to log out. So what do we have to work with on this page? Specifically, how do the elements on this page match up with the elements that are on our home page mockup? Let's go ahead and start at the top and work our way down just like we did with the mockup and line these elements up with the elements in the mockup. Okay, at the very top we have two bars that go all the way across the page. And if you look at the text of these items, it says dashboard, content, structure, appearance, people, modules, configuration, reports, and help. This looks like it probably has something to do with the administration of the site. And if that was your guess, you'd be right. This top section here is an administration bar that allows you to navigate to administrative sections of the site. And this second bar here is a way to add shortcuts to this bar so that you can easily navigate to pages that you use often. So this whole section here we're probably going to discount for now because the mockups display how pages look before a user logs in. So we're going to start our mapping of elements right below this shortcut bar. At the very top left we have our logo. So we have a logo in the top left corner as well with our mockup. We have the name of the site, but it looks like this is text. Now the name of the site in the mockup looks like it's image based. So I'm thinking that this probably will have to be removed and be replaced with an image. In the upper corner, we have my account and logout. And these are links that weren't in the mockup, but we might assume that they would be in the bottom part of the mockup. Let's go ahead and jump back to the mockup and take a quick look. I'm going to go to the resource directory and open up homepage.png. So we see down here in the lower left hand corner we have a login link and chances are if the person is logged in we're going to have a logout link and a way for them to manage their account. So let's go ahead and jump back to the browser. That's probably what this would be for. So we just need to move the position of this menu. As we look down we have a tab here that says home. Now I'm guessing that because this is a tab that there could be multiple tabs in this location. And if we jump back to our mockup, we see that we do have a navigation here that can be extended most likely by adding additional pages, but there's no tabs, no tabs around the actual text. So it looks like there might have to be some changes here to the look and feel, but the functionality may be able to stay the same, depending on if we can expand these menu items. I'm going to jump back to the browser. And as we look down, we see there's a box here for a search. And this looks pretty much exactly like it does in the mockup. I'm going to jump back to the mockup. We see here we have our search box, but it's in the right hand side instead of on the left like it is on the site. Okay, let's jump back to the browser. Below the search box is another box that says navigation, and there's a link in it that says add content. This says to me that maybe this is also an administration area of the page, but we'll have to check our site both as a normal user and as an administrative user to see if this displays. If it doesn't display, then we're good to go and we don't have to worry about it. If it does, we'll need to hide it. Now over here in the main content, it looks like we have a title and we have some content with a link. So it looks like we should be able to replace this out with our content and the structure should be fairly similar. As we look at the bottom, it looks like we will need to replace the background image just like we will with the top, as well as possibly adjust the colors a bit. We have this powered by Drupal link down here, and that's not part of the mockup, so we probably need to get rid of that, as well as this line right here. It also looks a little thick, and possibly we need to bring the size of this footer part down a bit. 